Territorio, a 2020 movie. Manuel and Lupe wants to have a baby. When Manuel discovers he is infertile, he starts to fall apart both physically and emotionally. After exploring several options, Manuel turns to Rubin, his new friend, to act as their donor. Teresa, 37, a 2020 movie. Teresa is 37 and had been married for a very long time. After several miscarriages, her gynecologist, in attempt to cheer her up, jokes how she could try to conceive with a different partner. This embark will shake her up monotonous life and make Teresa start questioning her marriage. The relationship with her family and people around her, she decided to steer things in a new direction, letting other man a new experience into it, without questioning the consequences of her actions or ultimate goal. Your tutor. 2018 movie. 17-year-old boy has finished school and he is preparing to enter the university. He must prepare for the exam in foreign literature and decide to find a teacher on a site your tutor. At this time, his parents live on vacation, leaving him alone at home. Anna is a literature teacher, a mature, a lonely woman who finds it easier to understand the heroes of old novels than her family. Mona, a 2012 movie. It is a story about different worlds, about a woman and a man, about city and countryside, about future and past. It is a story about animals and their killers, about deep and short-lived passion, and the Asian mystery of women. It is a story interwoven with vision and a light smile, a story about conventional love triangle and metamorphosis into animals, a story about love as a misunderstanding and misunderstanding created by the passion. Family Practice, a 2018 movie. Simon has a love-hate relationship with his father, a polynomerous Jewish psychiatrist. When his parents go on holiday, Simon initiates a seductive game of cat and mouse with his father's mistress and get disastrously tangled up in a sticky family network. Natural Selection, a 2011 movie. Linda White, a barren Christian housewife, leads a sheltered existence in suburban Texas. Her world is turned upside down when she discovers that her dying husband, Abe, has a 23-year-old illegitimate son, Raymond, living in Florida. Somewhere on the edge of guilt and loneliness, Linda grants Abe's final wish and sets off on a quixotic journey to find Raymond and bring him back 
before her husband passes away. Along the way, Linda's wonderfully bizarre relationship with Raymond will teach her more about herself than she ever imagined possible and force her to come to the terms with her troubled past.